We all know that stress can make you sick because our grandmothers told us that stress can make us sick. It took physicians and scientists a long time to learn what our grandmothers knew. And it's because in Western medicine, we have to understand how stress can make you sick. And it took learning and understanding the many ways in which the brain talks to the immune system, and the immune system talks to the brain, and how together they regulate our responses to everything in the world. What we see and hear and smell and touch and do, and what stresses us. We need our stress response, our brain's reaction to stress. We need that. So, so say you're driving on the highway and a car comes out of nowhere or a motorcycle comes suddenly beside you. You become stressed. That's a good thing because it's your brain's stress response working for you. It is helping you, your brain, to focus, to make sure that you're driving uh, the right way, that you're vigilant, that you are getting out of danger. If you didn't have a stress response, you might be sleeping and get into an accident. So we need our stress response to get out of danger, to focus our attention, to be vigilant, to survive. The problem occurs if the stress response goes on too long when you don't need it. So say you get off the highway and you're still feeling anxious and stressed, but there's no motorcycle coming. Well, at that point, you have to know how to relax. Well, we don't all know how to relax, and it's hard to learn how to do that. The problem, if you don't do that, you're still pumping out those stress hormones and nerve chemicals, adrenaline, cortisol, that affect your immune system's ability to do its job to heal. You need your immune system to heal wounds, to fight infections, and to protect against cancer. And if you're pumping out these stress hormones that suppress the immune system, it can't do its job. So you're more prone to viral infections like the flu, the common cold, more frequent, more severe infections. If you go out to get a, a vaccine, a flu shot, you're less likely to be protected because your immune system can't make the antibodies. Uh, if you're wounded, you're less likely to heal quickly. It takes at least twice as long for a person who's chronically stressed to heal from a wound as if you're not stressed. Stress speeds aging. Stress, stress speeds cancer growth. Stress does not cause cancer. Your genes and things in the environment cause cancer. Stress does not cause the flu. The flu virus causes the flu. Stress does not cause wounds. Wounding causes wounds, and stress does not cause aging. Aging causes aging. But stress speeds all these processes because of the stress hormones and nerve chemicals that are released that prevent the immune system from doing its job to help you heal.